It is 649. It could get messy today. We do want to get right to Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley on this WVLT First Alert Weather Day. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, guys. Yeah, those rounds of rain spinning up because of Nicole's remnants. Now tropical depression, but still tropical rains nonetheless spinning through. What you've had overnight has already set the stage for a lot of wet streets. Now you've got some moderate rain still between Rogersville. There's this band of heavy rain right in Clinton lifting towards La Follette over the next hour. Well, Valley gets some heavier rain, 740. Notice persistent rain right now just drenching every corner. Cumberland County, Roan County, Morgan, and Lenore City area, Loudoun County. And then we're going to bring these batches up over from North Carolina and just continue to spread them out. So that's why I say those gaps close up and we go up to 100% coverage of our area. So that's why we've had that first alert weather day posted for you. It really does go until about 4 p.m. We'll be clearing west to east this afternoon, so the main concerns here are impacts to roads, which is where Whitney Turner is definitely keeping an eye because we still have about an inch of rain to come in. And getting a look at your first alert traffic right now, those interstates and main roads are moving, but here's a live look at I-40 just west of Watt Road. You can see that visibility is low as that back spray is coming off of those vehicles impacting your drive. So you definitely want to use caution as you're heading out the door. Give yourself extra space and time on those roads for this Friday morning commute. As you're moving on I-40 through West Knox, Pellissippi Parkway, Kingston Pike, all looking good as you're moving towards downtown Knoxville. Knoxville, those interstates also moving right along. This is all ahead of the morning rush, so you still want to give yourself extra time if you're just now getting out the door, but right now you are in good shape. Winnie, thanks. Take a look at what's left in Florida after Nicole hit the state's Atlantic coast. Some places didn't have enough time to recover from Hurricane Ian. Now dozens of buildings and homes in the Daytona Beach area are not safe to enter. Officials don't know when or if people will be allowed to move back into their homes. Right now, some good news this morning. A missing 10 year old girl is safe. Knoxville police say Lena Pedro Vesbar went missing around 1030 last night around Louisiana Avenue. KPD says Lena was found and is safe this morning. Officials are thanking the community for spreading the word on her disappearance. And new details, if you live in Cock County, you might see crews out searching for missing cattle this morning after an overturned tractor trailer on the interstate. Yeah, there's dozens of loose cows around the area. The driver of that truck is also recovering from minor injuries. It crashed last night on I-40 West near mile marker 432 in Cock County. That's one of the main Newport exits. The trailer carrying 68 cows flipped. So far, they've wrangled up about 30 of them. None of the cows appear to be hurt from the crash, but if you see one near your home or business, you can call police. They'll get wildlife officials out there to help wrangle those cows up. And right now, crews are battling a fourth fire in Rockwood. The state says this one burned 75 acres, but is 60% contained. You might see flames and smoke today if you're in the Rockwood area. Rockwood Mountain area and good news. If you're planning on hiking in Gatlinburg, the National Park Service says two trails closed due to bear activity are back open again. One is near the Gatlinburg and Sugarlands Visitor Center. Also the Twin Creeks Trail. They were originally closed because a large group of bears were seen feeding on acorns there. Rangers tell us you should still be careful though if you head to that area. And right now, the case against Vol football player Jalen McCullough heads to a grand jury. McCullough and his attorney say he acted in self-defense when he punched the accuser in the face after the man refused to leave his apartment. That person claims when the football player punched him, he fell down the stairs. McCullough, his roommate, and the accuser testified yesterday. He's charged with felony aggravated assault. Judge Andrew Jackson says now it's up to a grand jury to decide. And new this morning, a federal judge is blocking President Biden's student loan forgiveness program, saying it is illegal and the White House does not have authorization to impose the law without congressional approval. The Justice Department is now appealing the decision. The program already on hold due to a separate lawsuit. And today is Veterans Day. It's a chance to remember, salute and show gratitude for those who have served in the armed forces. Veterans Day celebrated every year on November 11th, the anniversary of the end of World War one more than a century ago. It started as Armistice Day with President Woodrow Wilson signing the proclamation in 1919. In 1954, it became Veterans Day. It's a, it is separate from Memorial Day, which honors those who've died serving in the military. We've been showing your pictures all morning long from family, friends, and loved ones. We'll continue to show those on WBXX. You can send us those pictures inside the WVLT News app. And here in East Tennessee, as of right now, Knoxville's Veterans Day Parade is still a go with incoming rain today. The parade's scheduled to start at 1040 from Hill Avenue and will march down Gay Street. 
If anything changes, we'll bring you those updates immediately inside the WVLT News app. While well, happening today, Sevierville's newest attraction is opening its doors. The Skyland Ranch is a 100 acre farm, gives you an interactive opportunity to explore what it's like to live on an actual ranch. A $40 million project will have shops, restaurants and live entertainment. It's across from the Tanker Outlet Mall. Our crews will be there for the grand opening around 830 this morning. We will bring you that live on WBXX. WVLT proud to be your official station of the Vols, the final home game of the season for the fifth ranked Tennessee football team as they host the Missouri Tigers. What a home stretch it's been yeah. this year and you can watch it all right here on WVLT. It's also senior day on Rocky Top. The Vols will honor nearly 30 players within the program who will run through the tee one last time. This will also be Smokey's last home game as the mascot Aww. as Smokey 11 will take the reins next fall. Tomorrow's kickoff is at noon. Again, you can watch the game right here on WVLT. And leading up to kickoff, be sure to join us for the big orange kickoff show. Myself, Casey, Ted, the rest of the WVLT news team will be live with everything you need to know before the game. It starts at 10 o'clock, runs all the way to kickoff at noon. Once again, right here on WVLT. On the court, Rick Barnes in the 11th ranked Vols basketball team. They're headed to Nashville to take on Colorado. The team's doing is coming off that dominant win against Tennessee Tech earlier this week. Tip off Sunday, 2 o'clock. You can watch the game on ESPN. 656 picking up with the rainfall so far today. We'll continue to take a close look in that WVLT first alert weather app in case you're curious maybe how much you've had in another part of town where you live, where you commute to. Again, just starting from the overnight and plenty more to go. Already a few hundreds to a few tenths in parts of our area, adding up right now with that drenching rain in Cumberland County 57, 62 in Knoxville with on and off rain branched up through northeast Tennessee and more to come up and over the Smokies. So wet streets, absolutely kind of a cool angle with that sunrise peeking through, giving a little bit of a pink glow on those clouds over downtown Knoxville. Use caution as you're getting out the door. So getting this low 60s now, not much difference in temperatures all day. Getting knocked around here in the low 60s. The rain doesn't exit until that late afternoon to evening. So that messy first alert weather day as the tropical rains continue today. But then we're tracking a cold front for tomorrow. So I've got the latest timeline, the impacts to the I'm all of all forecast for tomorrow, all coming up on the CW. So just plan ahead for sure. Absolutely. And I know some of us were saying, I don't really want the cold. Others are excited about it. So there's those of you. It's coming. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for joining us. We're headed on over to WBXX. Stick with us. Have a good day.